First there was the drought, and then came torrential rain and severe flooding. Southern Angola's farmland has been devastated. By now, Musaka Fernanda's crops should have been towering over her head, but the 47-year-old farmer has little to harvest. To her, climate change means hunger. We've been waiting for rain for six months, six months without rain and before that we had winter. When the rains came we were so thankful, we were relieved, but they came too hard and then we had no way of tending to our crops, we were not able to go to the fields. With the threat of famine looming, Musaka alone is responsible for feeding her nine children. Like many men in the region, her husband moved to the city in search of work. He left because of hunger. There was a time when he used to buy food for the children. They used to share the work. But when the hunger got bad, he decided to go. And it's not just the mothers. Humanitarian group World Vision finds that their daughters also live the consequences of climate change. Because of families being separated or abandoned, we find a lot of families with a single parent, so it's the girls that end up helping their mothers in one way or another so they are likely to stop studying. They first need to provide for their basic needs. Musaka's two eldest daughters dropped out of school to help out at home. But when her eldest fell pregnant, Musaka asked her to move out and live with the father. My mother said, you have to get married because you can't burden me with this. I'm already struggling enough with all of you. I cannot suffer more with you, your baby and your boyfriend. It was a difficult decision, but Musaka had few alternatives. 45 million people face famine in southern Africa, according to the UN. And eight of them are dependent on Musaka's daily efforts, as she continues to work the land alone and in the face of climate change.